There it is. Chloe, this way! Oh. Please, exit onto the Royal Avenue from here and head to Grenzel. My men are causing enough of a diversion that security should be stretched pretty thinly. If everything looks okay, you keep on to the Bracer Guild without getting spotted. I'll hold the enemy off here. I should be able to buy you a little extra time. No, no, you can't! I can't just go on my own. I'll fight by your side. We all have something to protect. I will stay here for my convictions and my duty. And most importantly, for you, my lady. Forgive my impertinence, but you are of paramount importance to me. Your lady. I will guard you with my life. I ask only that you remember me as your friend and confidant. But please, please promise me that you won't do anything reckless. And that we will meet again in better circumstances. I'll bake for you. I'll try a new recipe and bake you something sweet and delicious. Hmm. Oh my. I am increasingly convinced that Chloe is a member of the royal family. airship. It's one of the airships that were being used by the intelligence division. Well, this isn't good. Yep, I see your shadow clipping straight through. The freaking ramp. Chloe Rins enrolled in the social studies program at Jenna's Royal Academy. If I could have a quick word with you. Olivia! A dark cloud looms over the royal city, and yeah, it signals a passion most black. <laughs> but so fascinating is Shade of Black, it seems. Am I perchance dreaming? Muller, my boon companion, have you come all this way? All the long roads from the Imperial capital just to see me? On what wind did you fly hither? What are you talking about? I'm here because I had to follow your stupid ass all over the deck. 
Uh, please, my dear, don't hide behind such base profanities. Your lips spit venom, but the fire in your eyes shows the depths of worry that drove you onward to my side. Love, it is truly blind. No more words, dear Muller. Fly, fly to my embrace. Lo, I am hoist with my own batard. Very well, let us talk. Okay, I'll tell you. Just stop opening your mouth and making sounds come out of it. Regarding the guy we were talking about before, I managed to pick up his trail. From what I found, he was at one of their Bonian Bracer guilds until about a month ago. Over the past several months, all of the guild branches in the Empire have been attacked, one after another. It seems he was supposed to be investigating why. Hmm. It's not the world of ten years ago anymore. As far as I know, no military force has been given marching orders. I'd bet that someone hired Jaegers to pull this off. Jaegers, rather. Anyway, our boys' trail stopped for a while, right when that case was solved. But if the man weren't we're after isn't here, there's no real reason to stick around, is there? That storm you were talking about is going to be worse than expected. A lot worse. You should come back to the Imperial Capital before you get caught in it. I am, you might say, already in costume. Sadly, the lead is unavailable, so the understudies must be used. I have the utmost faith that between the two of them, they will put on a grand performance. Final chapter, Turmoil in the Royal City. Oh, so we're just skipping straight to it, then. So you were able to get the professor out safely. And you even got the logic in it back. I don't have even have words. Thank you, both of you. Well, we didn't really do all that much. Really, we were just there as backup for a gate. It'll be nice when all this craziness ends. All we need to do now is put our faith in a gate. It does seem that the Colonel that Colonel Richard has something in mind for Grenzel, though. He means to use that black orbment, the thing he called the gospel. Hmm. There's currently no evidence to suggest that you were involved with the security breach at the fort, so it should be fine. Indeed, I'd advise you to go there before a full investigation is begun. It's quite likely that a thorough search of the central factory will be performed. You can count on us. Consider it her in Her Majesty's hands. But 
Well then, I guess there's no time like the present. We should try getting an audience with Her Majesty as soon as we can. If that's the plan, we need to take the next airliner- What? Racer Guild, good afternoon. Always a pleasure. Yes, if you would, please. Two to Gransel. Right, yes. Build to the usual account. Yes, you now have guaranteed seats on the Gransel bound airliner. We are paying you for your way, so all you need to do is check in. Also, take this with you. The tickets are simply a business expense, related to delivering the professor's message. The letter of recommendation is for the superlative job you did in rescuing the professor. Accept it, and be proud of what you've accomplished. We did it! Yay! Wow, we just... that was a lot of money! <laughs> okay, now... Mm -hmm. I have a very important question then. Okay, actually I need to check quickly first liberal map uh i think it's here you know let's just let's see what happens okay no cutscene and if i go here ow I want to talk to people who are not in the Zeiss. Also, I haven't finished the book fetch quest. Yeah, this right here. I haven't finished it yet. It has a little cross beside it though. Does that mean it's gone? I think that means I failed it. Ow! That's annoying. Okay, well... What you gonna do, I guess? There was this huge book on the bed when I woke up. It made it so hard to sleep. Let's just, uh, do that. Yeah, I hear you did a number on Liston Fortress. I feel proud enough being on the same team and helping from the sidelines. But I was a little nervous when all those soldiers surrounded the container. We can look back and laugh about it now, but at the time, we all nearly... <laughs> Great. Let's see. I've discovered a way to shove without getting bogged down by decisions. Whenever I don't know what to buy, I choose the one furthest to the right. That way, I don't have to worry about silly details and can get on with my shopping. Good morning and welcome to Bell Station. We have a wide selection of the finest quality goods suited for your every need. So, buy something, will ya? 
This store's success hinges on cus all of my customers. Well, I'm afraid you don't have anything that I need. Or even particularly want. Hurry, doctor! It's an emergency! <laughs> oh, I can I can sympathize. I did grocery shopping yesterday and I bought Well it's not a, it's not that I bought a, that much stuff so much as the things I bought were really freaking heavy. Like I had Yeah. I had apples and I had vinegar and I had cooking oil and just my so soldiers, my shoulders are very sore from carrying it home. <laughs> to be fair, I don't have that much upper body strength. That must be said. Like if I was do, it was the sort of lifting where it would have been fine if I did it every day, but I don't. So as a consequence, I am extremely sore the day after. I thought it might be about time to teach my brother Dee Dee about item display. Hmm. Welcome to the church. I'm always here to listen. Thank you too, Father. Thanks to you, a gate made a total recovery. We very much appreciate it. No need to thank me. I'm only doing what I must. If you ever have a need, please feel free to come to visit. The Septian Church is for everyone, after all. Um, did I get... By the way, did I get those uh, quartz crystals that I didn't have? I honestly don't remember. Last night I was discussing shop stock policy with Eklan. I think he's finally started seeing things my way. We're weapon merchants. We sell products people literally stake their lives on. Dedication is a must. I really have to make sure he understands that point. My little Muriel talks about working at the Central Factory when she grows up, but she says she wants to be one of the receptionists. I was a little relieved to tell the truth. I'm afraid she isn't cut out for science. Grandpa, I want to be a receptionist. You know lots of important people at the factory, right? Put in a good word for me. I mean, she knows what she wants to do, so I guess that's what's important, right? Uh, now we just remove the broken quartz and we're done. Yesterday I talked to Stain, the owner. He, I decided to try going with his recommendation this time. That doesn't mean I've started subscribing to his philosophy, but it's all part of the learning experience. Anything here that I don't have? I am suspicious of that big sum I was given, to be honest. Mm hmm. Okay, uh, up to the factory now. Nope, nothing new. 
I actually should probably look into making some food. Because... I feel weird saying that because I've made so much food today. I have made, like, eight pies today. <laughs> mind, mind you, some of those are savory pies. Like, that, that is... That is... That is probably going to count for, like, six of my next... Well, I already ate some. How many meals does that account for? One, two... Yeah, like six or seven meals, probably. Even before I take dessert into a factor. Um, it's a lot. And it took a long time to do, but it's fun to cook. Um, I guess I still have stuff in here, actually. I have a fair amount of stuff still, even. I I have eaten most of my one-offs now, though. Hmm. Okay. Yep. And, uh, just for point of reference. Okay. It looks like I do have one of everything. Good. Oh, that reminds me, actually. Did I get my stuff back from Tita and, um, a gate? Okay, it looks like I did. More HP and... I suppose I don't have Impede 3. Nope. Okay. You know, it's looking like I don't really have anything to change out for you, Joshua. Yeah, I want Eagle Eye on as well, so... Okay, so it probably won't let me go out there. Okay. Faye hasn't been herself since getting back to the factory. From the factory. Something happened between her and her old boyfriend? I'm gonna need to go talk to her. Maybe I didn't screw up as badly as I thought I did. Hello! Yes, this is my first Trails game. Sorry, I didn't see your comment. And Well, actually, you know what? I'm not that sorry. I... I was maybe a minute late on answering you. <laughs> Still, yes, it is my first Trails game. Uh, thanks again for saving the professor like that. I know it's not over yet, but at least he's safe. Don't forget, you've got friends here if you need us. Um, I guess it depends what you mean by how it works. I know that people, what people say changes quite often as the plot progresses. And I generally try to talk to them when that happens, although I don't always succeed. And I mean, like, I'm not near the end of the game now. I'm on the, I've just started the final chapter. Uh, I also know that apparently there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of events which have extremely small windows to get. <laughs> Mo almost all of which I've missed. <laughs> but what you gonna do? It's my first time and I'm playing it blind. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this feels bad. I thought I'd have a chance to finish this before I went to Grenzel. I didn't think it, it would rush me over there in an airship. So far, I've only missed two jobs. This one, 
Well, I guess there's probably one more after this, so maybe three jobs. Temp Librarian, and I missed one of the Monster Hunter ones. Estelle, Joshua, I didn't know you two were still here. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's what you mean. Well, this is the fr this is Trails in the Sky 1, so I'm not really too worried about that yet. I plan on doing the first tr three trail games in order, and then after that I'm not really sure. Um, because I know there's some games in between Trails and Cold Steel that were not translated into English, and I don't really know what I'm going to do with those. But they're a long way uh, ways away, so I'm not really worried about it too much, to be honest. At first I had my doubts, but the Orbital Engine project is progressing fantastically. Hmm. Come to think of it, I heard of a new photo exhibit in the Museum of History. I've heard that was the case, but I haven't really looked into it. Again, it's it's not something that's going to come up for a long time, so I'm not really too worried about it right now. I've got to completely recalibrate the Orbital Guns. There's definitely some kind of regularity, but I can't seem to quite pin it down. Uh, it'd probably be easier to just scrap everything and start all over from scratch. Oh, well, that's neat. <laughs> I heard about the rescue. At least you were able to recover the professor safely. Other than that, we can only wait and hope that they stay one step ahead of the army. I have heard that tri uh, Cold Steel 3 is as much a continuation of Crossbella as it is of Cold Steel. Since you mentioned it. Good luck, good planning. I guess it doesn't matter which you use to get results. Mm hmm. I can't believe it. We actually had an inquiry about bitter tomato that, that Ray got his hands on. What's wrong with the world today? <laughs> 30 play- Wow, that is a lot. That is a lot of playable characters. Like, I know there's 8 in this game, plus I know that there are at least 4 more in the other two Sky games. I don't know how many are in Crossbell- how many unique characters are in Crossbell or Cold Steel. Well, if it isn't our illustrious heroes, I couldn't see much from inside the factory ship. But from the little I did see, that was intense. <laughs> hmm. Like, um, actually, genuinely, the only characters that I know, let me think, I know two characters, I know two of the characters who show up in the other Sky games but aren't playable in this one, um, because I can have saw them in the preview for one of them in Steam, so kind of, I, I feel like that's a pretty minor spoiler though, so I'm not really worried about it. I have the the thief girl, I don't remember her name, and the priest guy. Build the forms. Mm-hmm.
Well, that I, I was pretty sure of that since I haven't seen him yet. I guess we do owe him some gratitude. Thank you, Ant Antoine. The factory chief told me that the re rescue went off without a hitch. The professor always been a mentor of sorts of all the engineers. So I just wanted to say thanks on behalf of everyone here. Well, we couldn't have pulled it off without you and your crew's help. Tita was so surprised that I thought her eyes might pop out. So that really was on purpose? Well, to fool the enemy, sometimes you have to fool your allies first. So what business do you have at the gate? We've had some trouble. A few hours late. Well, something like that anyway. It seems that the terrorists, the terrorists staged an ambush to dispute the Queen's birthday celebration. All ships are grounded at port while mili the military conducts inspections. So it sounds like I'm going to be walking anyway. But I still can't do the book quest! Ah, damn it. Speaking of characters, I know that Cold Steel has a bunch of, like, basically military school kids. I don't- I know literally nothing about them. I also know a gate shows up at some point in Cold Steel, because I've seen- I've seen clips of that as well. I don't- I assume he's playable because- because he's popular or something? Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we're walking. I mean, it makes sense to me that they all show up, but I assume that that doesn't mean they are playable. Like, to put it this way, I'm sure Estelle shows up in Cold Steel, but I don't, but it wouldn't surprise me if she was not playable in Cold Steel. Like, I, I think that's a good way to put it. And don't actually tell me if she is or not, by the way. <laughs> I'm just using that as an example. Okay, uh, well, things are certainly bustling around here. First, I believe I shall go see the factory chief. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, that's kind of neat. I mean, Estelle St and Josh were 16 as well in this game, but presumably they're in their 20s by the time Cold Steel rolls around. Like, I don't know what the timeline is exactly, but I know that it takes place chronologically after uh, Skies. I see. They're moving faster than I thought. I think it might be best if you left as soon as possible. Let's see. We are going this way. Okay. Yep. Okay, then. Hmm. You know, in the back of my head, I'm kind of going, you know, I should fight these things because I have hardly any... <laughs> well, green or blue Sepeth, but no. I No. Just no. Like that... Thing. It drops blue Sepeth, I'm pretty sure. Um, this way, right? I don't remember. Let's... Yes. This way. Um, I have a, most of them on my, I don't have them saved on Twitch, I have most of them on my YouTube channel, and I have a, the ones that aren't on my YouTube channel are, are basically I just need to get around to uploading them, <laughs> which I'm probably going to do pretty soon, actually, or, or start on it pretty soon anyway. I have about half of them ready for upload and another half, that, and the other half I need to start, e need to edit a bit first. Saying editing loosely, if I'm being honest. Um. Mm hmm. That is a pretty old wall. And a pretty big wall. No, don't, don't climb up the wall, Estelle. Estelle, stop shipping yourself with your brother. It's very uncomfortable. <laughs> um. Yeah, I was doing more. When I started, I was putting in more effort to make shorter videos, but at some point in the middle of chapter two, I think, I sort of went, why am I doing this? I'm keep this to myself, and I just started making bigger chunks. Still and Joshua filled out the paperwork. What's it with you kids these days? Are you brave or just crazy? Are you on some kind of hiking date on the highway? Stop shipping them, damn it! Uh, yes, Joshua, be the voice of reason. <laughs> I blame Chloe for this. <laughs> Martial arts competition? Oh, neat. 
It was originally the only way... It was originally only for the Royal Guardsmen, but now it's open to any fighter. I believe the preliminaries are starting this afternoon. The Queen will be there in person, so the admission fees are being discounted. If I weren't working, I'd be there myself right now. Of course, I'd rather be participating than watching. But if they've already started, it will be impossible for you to get in. We've got a job to finish, too, don't forget. You'll just have to make do in the stands. That emblem on your chest. I didn't notice because of your age, but are you two bracers? No, not a problem exactly. Um, what is going on? Well, sir, it's just that these two, they're bracers, sir. You two. I'd like to have a few minutes of your time, if that's all right. We do need to get to the capital. Is that so? The capital. May I ask the nature of your business in the capital? What? Well, we've got a job. I'm sorry, but we have a, an official guild contract. Our business is with our client. With our client is a private matter. I'm afraid you're going to have to explain yourselves. Well, we received information from military high- Of course you did. The Royal Guardsmen have revolted against the Queen and her state- Until they aren't. Ugh. We're sorry, but you're under- We're under strict orders. Until we can confirm your identification, you are to remain here at Sagthime. Do you know, we could phone the Bracers Guild and they could confirm our identity? Uh... Hmm... Ah, there you are! Is it? It- No, it's not Olivier. I mean, you're still pretty good, Professor, but... <laughs> I've been waiting for you. So you, if you've finished your paperwork, let's get going. I apologize, Professor. It seems we've hit a small snag that might delay our departure somewhat. Just a, just a moment here. Who, who are our... Allow me to introduce myself. I am a specialist of archaeology, Professor Alaba. I am from North Ambria State, and I'm here in Liberal... To, for investigative research. Well, they're bracers. They saved my life quite a number of times. So I decided to have them accompany me to the capital. Isn't that correct, Joshua? Estelle? Hmm. Well, it seems you have enough to prove your identity. I apologize to you both for the misunderstanding. We know how it is to have strict protocols, no hard feelings at all. Not all of us can just lie with such a straight face. Uh, sorry to surprise you. It just seems that you two were in some trouble, so I spoke up. Should I have not? Mm-hmm. We appreciate your help. My way of returning the favor. Still though, what was the argument about in the first place? I heard something about some terrorist attack? It seems there's a gang of criminals out there who have been causing trouble while disguised as normal citizens. And the two of us were suspected of being in said group. 
I see. Very troubling indeed. The situation and imagery. By the way, I heard that the incident in Carnelia Tower wound up getting complicated. How did that turn out for you? Hmm. Huh. Well, there was a few loose ends, but for the most part, we managed to get things done. I could tell you two had the beginnings of great bracers in you from the moment we met. I'm happy to see that I was right. We're still in training as it is. But, Professor, what brings you to a place like this? Naturally, I'm on my way to the capital. I was originally going to take a ship, but I found myself short on funds. Oh well, archaeologists need to exercise too, so the walk should do me good. We scholars of the humanities all have our financial issues. Especially archaeology. Any money I make goes straight to the next excavation. I'd love to! The road of the capital can be dangerous, so having you two nearby would be a relief. Not that it's all that far to the capital anyway. Wait, wait, wait. This cuts the- what? That Sanders cuts the tab of anybody who enjoys their meal? Huh. Hey, you're that guy! No worries. It's nice to see a customer enjoy my cooking so much. Mm hmm. Where did the captain go? Huh. Well, wait. Aha! Mm hmm. Anyway, let's go. I got transferred to this garrison recently. I'm surrounded by all these hardcore soldiers. I feel pretty overwhelmed sometimes. Are you on your way to the capital? Those terrorists could be hiding anywhere. Be careful. Well, around here should be just soldiers. So you should be safe. Let's see. You're a new one. Oh, it's a B. Well, I say B. I, it says B as well. But, um, it's Coloration Stinger and, look, it's, it's not a very, look, okay, you know what? I'm not going to get into it. It looks more like a wasp than a bee to me. Suffice it to say. Hey, you there. No tourists are allowed at the Herb Royal Villa. Did you not see the ordinance that was just posted all over the city streets? Actually, we're not citizens of Grenzel. We just recently came here by way of Sanctum Gate. Hard to believe anyone would want to walk on the highways with the terrorist activity going on. Hmm. It's a small palace to the east, where the royal family resides. I was given to understand that the townsfolk often went there to relax. Hmm. Let's 
suspicious. Well, that's certainly grim. Personally, being told not to go somewhere just makes me want to go and see what all the fuss is about. there. Grantsel. I mean... I want to see what's over here. <laughs> it won't... If I can't go into the villa, then it won't let me go into the villa. Anyway. So... I should be fine. Okay. The... B, air quotes, was time steppeth. You were mostly Earth, I think? Uh, we're good to go. Yeah, mostly Earth. Charcodile. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, wait, I thought there were two. Let's move out. Okay, well, water and more time. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh. It's these puffballs. Don't steal magic from me. You jerks. Okay, well, I mean, if you're gonna be like that, let's see how you like, um... Will this even do anything? <laughs> that didn't. No, it did nothing. Um... Yeah, uh, I think, I think we'll just do that. This place is a little bit mazy. An old vermilion stone monument. Monsters! Right, well... Yeah, that feels good. Quite the variety of monsters, too. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you have critical? Oh, in that case. I was considering something different, but with auto crit. Good. Run away. Oh! Please don't hit Joshua. Um... That doesn't actually heal much. That doesn't heal much. 
that heals a lot, but it also heals several states effects, so I'd prefer to save it for one of those. Um... Let's see. Um... <laughs> Love seeing it still no sell that. Okay. I think we will use Hurricane again, and it'll probably even kill this. It did not. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. Joshua, I need you to go kill- Really? Huh. Well, that's not ideal. Okay, now we will use that thing that cures faint. We can't, Josh was out of range. Um. <laughs> It's better if Joshua goes down than if he does. Ah, no, it didn't deal enough damage! Well. Rip. Let's try again. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yes. Uh, that's a hundred, that's a hundred, that's a hundred, that's... Okay. Would Earth be better, actually? Well, I can't hit everything with Earth, though, can I? I mean, I can hit most of them with Earth, but Earth only matters against the shark, so... Okay. Aerostorm! Pretty good. Don't love that. Okay, you can flicker three of them this time. Great. This is going much better than the first time around. Uh, you can finish that off. Uh, okay. You didn't kill him, so... That's probably okay, actually! 
Okay, I can taunt with Estelle or I can heal with Estelle. I am going to heal with Estelle. As the as the fish monster has demonstrated, it cannot one-shot the professor here. And it might attack Estelle anyway. Or she could just go first. That works too. Oh, or I could petrify it. That's even better. Look at that experience. Sure. Okay. Defense three. You have gone over your limit for this chest. Dev team. Defense three. Um... I can get more magic with this, but I lose Petrify. And I'm not really sure, like, what does this do? Temporary protection from Earth, and yeah, I feel like I don't need it. I mean, the defense boost is definitely nice, but Petrify is just so good when it works. I don't know what the heck you dropped. Let's let's fight. I do know they don't have a ton of HP though. Which is nice. Okay, it looked like mostly water. Oh, well, water and time, actually. 